Two months ago, I burned all of my unfinished and unloved work from 2016, 17, and 18 as an act of rejuvenation and in search of clarity. Pieces I never completed, I never truly believed in enough to finish, and dishonest work continuously lingers on around me. In efforts to liberate myself from this work and find a new path for myself and my art, I wanted to clear this work out from my life, which only lived as a reminder of my past. I wanted to bring my work back to the most crucial point of the alchemical process, to abstract it into a blackened ash where it could be repurposed. Now, I have used the remaining ashes as a pigment for my prints on paper and canvas. They now live as a testament of my past that I cherish because of the history they hold. I'm Stella Woods, and this is what I've done since then. I have an ongoing infatuation with what is essential, internal and external things that are fundamental to human life. I was searching for a deeper context to my work because I had no relationship with confidence and couldn't even begin to achieve what I believed I was capable of. This left me grasping for facts, things that are brutally honest and undeniable variables of our reality. I was seeking a connection to the transcendent because I wasn't doing or creating anything that fulfilled me. I analyzed the essential. What is imperative to myself internally and externally on a scale from deeply personal to everyone in this room and beyond? As humans, we require consistency, human connection, empathy, and vulnerability. These are necessities to all of us, the same way the essential elements of the universe are. Fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. These materials are symbols of energy, movement, change, and development. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen make up about 96% of the human body. They compound to create the world and almost everything in it. I wanted to expand my understanding of the common denominators of the conditions in which we live. We exist and stem from matter, and matter is made up of these crucial things. In some sense, I believe my infatuation with a relationship to nature stemmed from being a woman. We select people that make us feel natural because nature is in fact what selects. These many symbolic representations exist as they do because they rely on fact. All existing things can have metaphors, individually created or globally recognized. These existing metaphors and symbols have not occurred by random chance. They exist in our subconscious and minimally deliver messages to us. The essential has directed me to focus on fewer things at once and pay each individual thing much more attention. These attractions organically led me to seek out the significance and infinite importance of everyday shapes, two and three dimensional. The sphere, square, triangle, and rectangle. Rectangles represent stability and solidity. With their straight lines and right angles, they hold balance, represent order, rationality, and are viewed as earthbound. This is corroding timeline. It is eight pieces of wood, 10 inches long, and each inch represents three days of the month. I am using four of the five essential elements and their traits to measure a relationship and create a visual timeline for myself to reflect on the versatility of young love and how relationships occur. There stands a constant base of security and insecurity in the company of another person. Pain and pleasure are in constant flux with each other, the exact same way the acts of being passive and passionate are. All five essential elements are attached to a characteristic. Fire is passion, water is passive, metal is rigid, wood is versatile, and earth is material. The two main elements of this work are fire and water. Their energies mend nicely, but also contradict each other. Water destroys fire. To be passive destroys the passion. My life exists in a very inconsistent nature. There are both aspects to my life which are in my control and those that are not. These combined have created an ongoing state of imbalance. I cannot identify a constant factor that I function with. Living in this condition has forced me to live with a passive nature which manifested into my inability to connect and create passionately. Having identified the lack of a constant in my life, I wanted to create something evidently indifferent and steady for myself. My static personality and state of being 
led me to search for something unbroken to bring me out of my self-created isolation. I created a spinning, organic, rotating constant for myself before realizing that the eternally spinning and rotating Earth was in fact my constant factor. And the antidote to my disarray was an endlessly expanding relationship to the world itself and everyone on it. I could resolve my behaviors by completely investing myself into the tragic and perfect aspects of this universe. The connection to this infinite relationship and my work is by living more and more into the world. The title of this work, 30 kilometers a second, is the exact speed in which the Earth orbits around the sun. These last two pieces are in the process of being executed, so these are sketch-ups of the final product. This is a mock-up of Lupa Folding. Parents hold up their children. Children also hold up their parents. Both hold themselves up independently. One sphere is 80 millimeters, and the smaller one is exactly half. The whole represents the parent, and the half is the child. We are balancing our relationships with each other as we simultaneously hold each other close and at a distance. Holding and the lack of, which we have all experienced in relationships of all kinds, creates a causality loop. Positive and negative action create a result that feeds into all aspects of your life, determining the next shift and chain of events. The same ideas from Loop of Holding inspired this piece, Union. The bond of two individuals, whether they be friends, parents, siblings, or partners, creates a bond and undeniable emotional ties with everything that accompanies them. When there is a lack of security, encouragement, trust, honesty, and support, the balance and stability is lost, causing a negative causality loop to occur. Perfectly, the rigid na nature of metal, which will be welded to create the final product of this piece, and the triangular shape it forms is the exact basis of our reality, the tetrahedron, also called a three-dimensional equilateral triangle. It is the building block of our existence. The measurement of each side in the triangle is the smallest unit of length ever known, called the Planck length. It is the smallest possible indivisible unit of reality. These tiny triangles fill up all space in the universe as they bond together to create everything we know and all that we are. We bond with each other in the exact same nature. Point up triangles represent a strong foundation and male energy. The point down triangle can represent female energy and the descent into the physical world. Triangles and other three part symbols represent the notions of past, present, and future. I have come to believe that art cannot be viewed as a single isolated entity. Art is a language like many others, and as I learn this language more and more each day, I understand more about everything I know and the potential to learn more is revealed. I want to thank Mr. Vary and Mr. Novak for teaching us this incredible language and for offering us your unconditional support and wisdom every single day. Thank you.